Hello ladies and gentlemen, Tom here from Electric Games and welcome to a video on Lost Judgment. If the Yakuza gaming series had a delinquent cousin who hadn't quite reached the same heights of unlawful activities yet, this cousin would certainly be the Judgment Saga, a series now receiving its second entry, Lost Judgment. Published by Sega and developed by Ryo Ga Gotoku, Lost Judgment should be ready to play on today, September the 24th. Often enough, spin-off series lack the spark or gravitas that some other game possesses, but it doesn't seem to be the way of things in Lost Judgment. This game takes plenty of inspiration from the source, but certainly has charm enough to stand alone comfortably. We take the reins of Takuyuki Yagamai, a sign-haired, smouldering, leather jacket donning police detective, as he is sought out to investigate two primary locations. Kamurocho and Izazaki Linjo, both infested with criminal activity. Lost Judgment uses a twist and turn narrative style, primarily surrounding the single murder, as well as revolving around the man who seems to be the culprit. Shamed police officer turned vigilante named Akihiro Ohara. Those who have played the Yakuza title before knowing all is never as simple as it is made out to be. Telling some stories as gruesome as they are gripping, Lost Judgment is no outlier here. Proving to potentially surpass both series' flair for a thrilling narrative. A crime mystery action drama that takes the form of a TV series. Lost Judgment is saturated with suspense and underpinned by some imposing writing. As with any worthwhile play, Lost Judgment contains a myriad of alternative side quests referred to as school stories. Consisting of boxing competitions, science fair robot building tasks, as well as a groovy dance competition. All light-hearted ways to flesh out the primary narrative. All tough guys must let their hair down and break dance every now and again. Certainly, all was not doom and gloom in Takayuki's world. He gets to investigate some abhorrent crimes with a very good boy, a Shiba Anu, by his side who reliably sniffs out some shady people and other suspicious objects given Takayuki hints as to where to look next. Otherwise, we follow targets from the shadows, take photographs for evidence to disguise ourselves as to infiltrate as well as to employ other gadgets, like a sound amplifier and a single det signal detector, to build up cases and break down crime syndicates. Lost Judgment doesn't skimp on the detective's toolbox, but at the same time leaves nothing to be superfluous. Each gadget comes in handy at some point. Okay, here's the bones of the matter. How do we go about giving those baddies a good slap about? We know it's going to happen at some point. It must, doesn't it? Correct. It takes about 50 minutes for Yagami to get involved in the brawl. Lost Judgment gives us several modes of close quarters attack to use against those interfering with our forensic analysis. Crane style to exercise control of a mob of enemies Tiger style to inflict some deadly blows, and Snake style to counter any incoming attacks with a paralyzing takedown. It is said that once upon a time, Takayuki's hands were registered as lethal weapons, and understandably so. Much of Yagami's attacks is based around spinning roundhouses and Kopira kicks. Combat within the crime adventure game is very cool. With slow motion knockout sequences and choreographed fight scenes, that comes straight out of a John Wick movie. Takayuki can fight and usually beat anyone and everyone, especially student gangs. He's the king of physical retribution. Yagami can fight in skinny jeans and a leather jacket, don't ask me how, but kickboxing and brawling mechanics are still second nature to our diligent detective. Using both schools and martial arts to deplete our enemy's health bars until they are neutralized. If you were to ask me to sum up Yagami in sort, in short, I might say it is though Bruce Lee gains a legal conscience 
becomes an edgy undercover cop and somehow earns some magical fluorescence that trails his every kick. Probably out of veneration for their power. How does that sound? Running parallel with an infinitely satisfying combat approach and a narrative of addictive proportions is a world design that invites you to spend hours exploring it. Lost Judgment gives a worldly take on Japanese culture and architecture, infusing it with the game's plot, resulting in the work of metropolitan magnificence. If you are a fan of Japanese animation styles, the milieu of the game's cities, Kamarajo and Izazaki Lincho, it is nothing short of infectious. You can't help but feel as though you've lived your whole life there. By daylight, Lost Judgment surroundings are an innocent cityscape, hosting many thousands of untroubled consumers and denizens. But there is almost a palpable sense that in the shadows lurks a criminal plague, a theme contributed by the continual references to the lore of the Yakuza games. Better still, Yagami, his detective crew, clients and the panoply of side characters he encounters are immaculately designed both in visuals and persona. Lost Judgment is another of these games written as though it was a film or a TV series. It has at least enough sharp corners in its writing to be so. Put all these tributary factors together and you have yourself an estuary where a game can pull you in as would the tide. Crime, combat, parkour, gripping plot lines, and a tidy Japanese world design, what's not to love? If you haven't deciphered the game's depiction of a legal system by the title, its storyline will tell you as much. Lost Judgment is an interconnected web of individuals and decisions, some of which is made up of lies and deceit. If you have been waiting for a game that promises to lose you in the goal stream of politics, violence, death and intrigue, Royal Ga Gotoku's Lost Judgment is on paper the game for you, and you won't be sat idly for long as it comes out today. Thank you all very much for watching this video on Lost Judgment. I hope you all enjoyed this video and are looking forward to delving into Lost Judgment as we certainly are. If you would like more of what we have to offer, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to keep notified so when we upload a new video. Also, feel free to like the video and leave a comment with any creative feedback that you may have for us, or what your opinions are on the new game. Anyway, that is all for now, so I hope you have a fantastic day, and we will see you all in our next video. Farewell and stay electric.